Welcome to this video introducing Aris Commander Edition 2014. Please note we are using a Windows version of Aris, but Aris Commander Edition is also the only CAD software available for Mac and Linux. The first thing to notice when we open a drawing session is the new ribbon interface. It is a modern environment organizing many tool shortcuts into a minimum space. By default, there are two working environments, one for working in 3D and another for 2D. When changing from one environment to another, the ribbon adapts with tools related to the work environment we selected, which is either 2 or 3D. Anyway, don't forget all the tools and commands are still available through the command line, where we can launch commands by entering their names. In the 2D work environment, we will find quick access to the tools to draw the shapes we need for our project. This includes, for example, lines, polylines, and a complete set of features we have to create and modify entities. It also includes tools for dimensioning, layer creation, and reference insertions, among many others. Now, if you need 3D tools, all you have to do is this, which opens the workspaces list and selects the 3D modeling environment. The ribbon adapts automatically to facilitate the work in 3D. You can see the name of the tabs have changed where, in addition to specific 3D tools, you will still find the most important tools for 2D that are necessary to create your three-dimensional objects. Please note, however, that the ribbon is not meant to be working in one mode or another, that is, 2 or 3D. You are always working in a three-dimensional model space, even when you draw in 2D. Ribbon is just simplifying the interface with the most expected features, either for 2D, like in this example, or for 3D, with other features. This work method is both intuitive and more productive. That's why we call them workspaces. If you're missing the traditional interface of the previous versions, you will find that under Classic Default. Using this, you can switch back to toolbars and menus. Still, there's something new here. Notice the icon images in the menus for each command, at least for those that have an icon defined. You can see here that the ribbon is, in fact, the combination of two concepts into one, both drop-down menus and toolbars. If you are used to menus and toolbars, I would like to encourage you to try the ribbon. At first, you may lose a little time looking for the tools. It's like shopping in a new store. But after a little practice, you will get used to it. You'll see how intuitive the ribbon is. And it will definitely increase your productivity. Mm -hmm.